Good morning, YouTubers, friends, followers, and subscribers. But mainly good morning to my subscribers who have all stayed loyal to this channel. But if you're watching this video right now and you've not yet subscribed, why not? It's free! But it's not freedom of speech, no longer. Well, people, it's what? The day after Boxing Day, the 27th? Yesterday, the town was... I went into Ipswich yesterday to do a bit of shopping. What did I buy? Well, I bought a... Uh, I can't tell you the colour. It's going to be a secret. People are trying to guess it. I bought a tux tuxedo top. A tuxedo jacket. A new one. To wear on Christmas Eve. Not black. But lovely. Anyway, uh, I've got to be honest. Um, and you know what? Before people start jumping down my throat and saying, Trevor, that's racist. It's not. For the YouTube human reviewers, it's a fact that not many people I walked past in Ipswich yesterday spoke actual English. Nope. None. Um, I could have been in anywhere in the world. Anywhere in the world. I think my biggest sadness just was walking past Debenhams and seeing it close. Massive floor space. Beautiful. It used to be a beautiful shop. Hopefully someone will take that over. But not someone connected to Philip Green. That would not be good. Yeah. But yeah, I've had loads of emails coming in. Um, I'm going to be honest, I'm enjoying reading the bullshit on Twitter. H from Steps has stated, listen guys, if I've blocked you, I apologise. I've downloaded a bot blocker, a bot blocker. I mean, you've got celebrities from all over the place going, showing pictures. H has just blocked me. H has just blocked me. And I mean, newscasters, journalists, celebrities, they're all going, what's happened to H from Steps? He's blocking everyone. <laughs> and H is trying to dig himself out of a hole by going, I'm sorry, I downloaded a bot blocker and it's doing this. Well, H from Steps, um, I'm going to be honest, uh, I blocked you. <laughs> well, yeah, don't even know him, but there we go. It's just weird. It's just weird how people behave. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had loads of emails come in about this. When I say loads, maybe about eight, eight or nine emails. People send Trevor, what do you think of this? Right. Prince George who's only a young, young boy, has drawn a reindeer with a little bit of snow on its nose, a robin here and a robin here. Right. Now, this just goes to show you how sick and twisted the Harry and Meghan cult are. That's a fact. Because they're now putting things all over social media. Can you believe that Prince George plagiarism isn't good? He, he took this postcard from here and he got it from here and and and, and he's copied it and he's plagiarised it, he's, he's making the work his own. Fuck, how, how retarded are people to actually attack such a young boy because he's looked at a picture of a reindeer and he's drawn one himself. It's actually shocking how these people actually think. These are adults. These are adults with a mental health condition that attack young people, that constantly attack, attack, attack. It is what it is. There we go. I find that strange though. Well, Prince Andrew was out on Boxing Day. Going to church. Now this is what happened. This just shows you how twisted the papers are. I think the headline is Disgrace Prince offers stupid offers advice which doesn't make sense. It actually does make sense. He was walking to church. And a woman was standing freezing, shaking, and she actually said out loud, freezing, freezing. Andrew turned around and went, ah, you should always carry a newspaper because if you stand on the newspaper, it insulates your feet. Now, I get his point. He's not saying standing on newspaper will insulate your feet. He's saying if you're wearing shoes with a rubber sole on them, he's not a fucking idiot. He just said, stand on a newspaper, it'll insulate. And he, uh, you know what? He's, that's a fact. It's a fact. Won't last that long if the ground's soaking, the paper will get all wet. But it's a fact that he said. Now, people are saying, oh, well, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, it doesn't make sense because you're stupid, okay? He was trying to offer a little bit of advice. He didn't expect people to start slagging him off again. Do you know what? He's done what he's done, and he's disappearing. Let him disappear. Fucking hell. Let's concentrate on the little prick that's causing all the issues. Yeah, that would be a good one. Anyway, something more serious. China... I actually believe that in 2023, China will invade Taiwan. 
that's my prediction. I believe it will happen. Yesterday, we seen China send 71, that's a big number, 71 military aircraft they sent into Taiwan's airspace just to test the water. Will the world react to help Taiwan the way it's reacted to help Ukraine? Don't know. Begs a question, doesn't it? I know the UK won't be doing anything because we've got nothing left. In America, they've got lots of things left, but they could... You could use the Taliban, couldn't they? Taliban's got lots of things. Oh, Taliban's on the side of China. They're on the side of China. Got a few issues there. Yes. And listen, people, I want to point this out because I said it yesterday. The amount of people I'm seeing now on TV, social media, or, and they've got doctor, doctor. I'm thinking, where's all these doctors coming from? They're all on. And these doctors are all... Like, doctor... Tessa Dunlop, who unfortunately follows me on Twitter, but she's on attacking people. It's like, it's like there's an attack now really ramping up towards white heterosexual men. It's crazy. And the only way to not get attacked these days is to wear a bra and lipstick and identify as a woman. You have loads of protection there now from the woke and from females. I find it strange that females are protecting males when I was growing up, they were called transvestites. Now they're called transgenders. I don't understand. They're playing with fucking words and messing them around and trying to twist. Do you know what? Bring back fucking sectioning. Section people. If you've got people out there which don't know who they are and what they're in, I don't identify as anything. I'm just being free as a... In fact, I identify as a plant pot. The minute they start this shit, they should be scooped by the police and go, we're putting you away for your own safety. But I'm, I'm okay. Okay, for the safety of children. Because we do not want children's minds being corrupted. Look at today. You don't want to corrupt children's minds. You go into classrooms and there's fucking males twerking. This is how you twerk. And you're like, oh, fuck me. Somebody fucking... You're all going to hell. Simple as it. It's all going to hell. Uh, someone said to me yesterday, Trevor, I don't understand that... You said Rumble's a lot easier to use, and it's more freedom. You said Rumble's more freedom, but you're still uploading videos here, and you haven't uploaded a video on Rumble in about four days. I'll do one today, actually. And I went, you know what, that's a good point, right? When I look at the graphics and the statistics of, the, of my YouTube channel, uh, the majority of people on my YouTube channel that watch me are over 40, over 40 years of age. So they've got life experience, they understand things, and... When you get over 40, whether you like it or not, we are not good at technology. And a lot of people struggle to get on Rumble. So I upload my videos here more because people can actually watch them, regardless if I get paid or not. It doesn't matter, which I don't. But they like it here. I will get back to Rumble. And see when I up upload videos on Rumble, it's actually difficult because when, when I'm on the Rumble site and I'm uploading a video, it takes about three hours to upload a video on Rumble for me. I've got to go into my... Emails, click on Rumble account, go through there, click on who I am, go through the back door in order to get a video up on Rumble and then upload it. And then I've got to go through all the checks. So Rumble isn't as straightforward for me as it is probably for other people, but that's because I'm an IT idiot. Well, listen, people, I'm going to go uh, do a bit more. Thanks for sticking with this channel. It's now, this channel has grown. Um, I've now got more people on this channel subscribed than I've ever had before. So it's going right up. However, had I have not received restrictions in September, we would easily be at 100K by now. So let's keep going, keep sharing, keep believing. Believing. I don't even know that song anymore from High School Musical. Anyway, listen, take care, have a great day. But most of all, stay safe.